I spoke earlier to Sung Yoon Lee. He's a professor of Korean studies at Tufts University. And I started by asking him why Pyongyang went ahead with the launch despite increased sanctions and warnings from China. Well, it came on April 15th, which is the birthday of the founder and the current leader's grandfather, uh, Kim Il-sung, his birthday. It is simply the most important national holiday in North Korea. So this was a big deal. And obviously, Kim Jong-un, the North Korean leader, wanted to show off, wanted to show the world, principally the United States, that the country's missile programs are advancing. Uh, this test from a mobile launcher, uh, which is hard to detect and monitor, obviously. Had it been a success, it would have created quite uh, a shock in Washington. But I think North Korea has shown in the past that they're making progress on uh, various missile programs, on their nuclear program as well. So we should not uh, snicker at North Korea. We should not patronize North Korea, condescend to it. In 2012, North Korea tested a long-range missile a few days, a couple of days before the big birthday, April 15th. It fizzled, but then a few months later, in December that year, conducted its first ever successful long-range missile test. So the threat is growing, that's for sure. Well, you mentioned, you know, the significance of uh, the birthday. Does it matter then whether the test was a success or failure? Well, I think for the regime, clearly, this is not the happiest day. I think the regime would have been happier and would have certainly celebrated with uh, pomp and ceremony had this unprecedented mobile launcher launched missile test been a success. Uh, the thing here is this medium-range missile, ballistic missile, has a range of 3,000 to 4,000 kilometers, which puts the U.S. base in Guam clearly under uh, within range. So uh, I'm sure there's a little bit of um, disappointment in North Korea today. But I would not underestimate North Korea. Missile technology is hard to master, and North Korea clearly is on the right track from their own perspective, that is, and probably will attempt another missile test of this kind in the coming days or weeks. And at some point, they will show us that they, they have mastered the, the, the technology. And that is an escalation. But after so many failures, how close are they to a success? Well, their most recent long-range missile test, intercontinental missile test, came in February. And that was a success by all accounts. The one before that came in December 2012, and that was also a success. And presumably, long-range ballistic intercontinental missiles are more difficult to develop. So the fact that this mobile launcher launched test with a missile of a medium range, 3,000 kilometers or so, uh, fizzled, uh, does not necessarily mean that the entire missile program is in jeopardy. I would not be surprised if North Korea's next uh, such test is a success. What at this point could possibly stop the DPRK from testing and building up its nuclear program? If new sanctions and warnings are completely disregarded, is there anything that can bring them back to the table? Well, uh, probably not, short of really constricting financial sanctions against the regime and third country entities, individuals, institutions, and banks that continue to do business with North Korea. Short of such harsh, penetrating financial sanctions and economic dislocation, um, painting North Korea into a corner, I don't think the regime really has any reasons to be afraid because, yes, we've had a very tough UN Security Council resolution passed a few weeks ago. Yes, there is great political will in Washington, in South Korea, perhaps even in Beijing, to take some kind of action to put more pressure on North Korea. But in the past, over the past 60 years, such resolutions or resolves have, with time, all fizzled. And North Korea has really never paid any kind of punishment for its countless provocations, lethal attacks, and weapons tests. So in the meantime, I, I think that dynamic is here to stay.